At a summit in Mexico, President Biden addressing those classified records while adding some distance, suggesting they were brought to his former office without his knowledge. I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. Sources tell ABC News Biden's lawyers discovered roughly 10 classified documents, some marked top secret, all dated between 2013 and 2016. The New York Times reports the papers include briefing materials on foreign countries from when Biden was vice president. They've turned over the boxes to the archives and we're cooperating fully. Trump appointed U.S. Attorney John Lausch now investigating. That probe coming as a special counsel investigates why former President Donald Trump took hundreds of classified records with him to his Mar-a-Lago home. I have to eat their words, but the hypocrisy. The Republican-led House Oversight Committee also investigating. But there are critical differences between these cases. ABC has learned it does not appear Biden personally asked for the documents to be moved from the White House. While Trump knowingly took hundreds of classified documents, some marked top secret when he left office. The White House insists Biden's legal team immediately informed archives as soon as they discovered those documents. Whereas Trump refused to hand over the classified material for months, even resisting a subpoena before the FBI finally searched his Mar-a-Lago estate. And more questions remain about those Biden records, including why were his lawyers packing up his old office? And could there be anything in those records that could damage the president politically? Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.